Hey guys, this is Jonathan with Millinnovator, and I want to run through real quick uh, the difference between boosting a Facebook post and actual advertising. You have a lot of people out there doing uh, business stuff on Facebook, whether that's trying to promote their own business or managing a business page, and they say, yeah, we're advertising on Facebook, when in reality, most of them are just boosting a post. So I want to run through real quick what the differences are and why actual advertising is probably a better uh, solution for your business. So. We're on our Facebook page here for Millinnovator, and I'm just gonna type in a quick, ooh, hello. And I'm gonna pet boost post. This is obviously just an example. Um, please don't write hello and try to boost or, or advertise that. So it gives you uh, audience, budget, you know, different criteria here. You can uh, target through, or you can have an audience by targeting them specifically. You can do people who like your page or people who like your page and, and their friends. So. Most of the time, you're just going to do it through targeting. So in here, you can do gender, um, age, you can do whatever age you want. And as you go through and hear the criteria, you get Alabama, you can do any location. Um, you can do by demographics, interest, behavior. So let's just say we want to do Under Armour as our uh, interest. So we can do that. And obviously, it's going to change your estimated audience size down here. And so we'll just hit save. Um, and have your budget, how much you want to spend per day. And then based on your budget and your audience, they're going to give you an estimated reach per day. And then what's the duration of your boost? So that's pretty self-explanatory. Here you would hit set budget and it would just take you through and start boosting that post. It's pretty self-explanatory, uh, pretty simple. Um, what that's going to do, the, the, the good thing about a boost is that it's going to get in front of people. It's going to get your brain in front of people. It's going to get, you know, if you put a link to your website on there, it's going to get that in front of people. And it's just going to get in front of a lot of people. The bad thing about a boost is that that's all it's going to do is get in front of a bunch of people. There's not really going to be any action taken by the Facebook users who see your boost. And we always want to prompt our potential customers to do something. We want to, we want to prompt action. So I'm going to take you through real quick um, what ads manager and what an advertisement would actually look like. So here is ads manager for um, someone that we work with. And as you can see, the first thing is it gives you a bunch of statistics that you're really just not going to get a whole lot with boosting. Um, you'll get some on your page, but you're not going to get very much with that specific boost, except for maybe like the reach and, you know, how much you spent and just different things like that. So here you can see the reach, which isn't as important as like your results. And we'll talk about results in a minute, how much you spent, link clicks, button clicks. There's just so much uh, different statistics that you can have that it's very important once you get into this stuff. So I'm going to take you through results right here is the main ex <clears throat> objective that we're going for. Like, and you got to realize what your objective is. So if I go over here into, um, here, let me get in the right place. We're going to go to custom conversions. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so a custom conversion is really what we're telling Facebook that we want the conversion to be that equals that result. What do we want our Facebook users who are seeing our ads? What do we want them to do? So once we do that, it'll say, OK, this every time that the a Facebook user does what we wanted them to do, the conversion that we set up, it'll give us a result. And in, in our world, that's a lead. So here we can go create a custom conversion. So we want to include all traffic that goes to whatever page we tell them to go to. A lot of times that'll be um, a certain page, maybe a thank you page, maybe our website. It all depends on what you're trying to do for your business. Um, and depending on what that is, that would be you know what uh, URL you put there that you would want to track. You would name your conversion. That's all up to you. And then you'd select a category. So are you trying to get a lead out of this ad? Are you just trying to get people to view your content? Are you trying to get people to register for an event? Are you trying to get people to make a purchase? So these are all very customized conversions. As you can see, it's called custom conversions that we're trying to set up. And let's say you wanted to do a, a purchase. Well, you can put a, a value in there. So if you're selling something that's 50 bucks, you can put a conversion value of $50. So that that way, Facebook automatically adds all this stuff up so you don't have to. And it knows out of your conversions that you've had, out of your results, how much money that you've made from that. So this right here, guys, is the main difference. Conversions. And you're all going to do that through the Facebook pixel. But that is going to be in one of your next emails to come. I just wanted to tease that real quick for you. But that's going to come here very soon. I hope you enjoyed this. 
And if you have more need for more information, please let us know and please stay tuned to these emails.